Hi all, today we'll be looking at how home automation can prevent your home storage battery from discharging to your electric vehicle. We've recently moved to the Intelligent Octopus Tariff which provides 6 hours of off-peak electricity during the night. This element is fairly easy to manage through time controls, however the tariff also offers additional slots throughout the day when demand on the grid is low or when renewable production is high. This helps with reducing the carbon impact of the EV and more significantly helps to balance the grid. These extra slots are great in that all energy consumed by the home in this period is billed at the off-peak rate, however there can be a challenge if you have a home storage battery. By default these times are likely to be when your battery will be minimising your grid consumption and so it's easily possible to drain your home storage battery into your EV. A common approach to this is to move the EV charging circuit so that it is separated from the rest of your grid consumption and therefore the battery's grid monitoring can be moved to a point where it doesn't see EV grid consumption. Using home automation we can have a much smarter solution. In this video I'll be using Home Assistant for the home automation platform. If you want to try something similar you will need some way of seeing if the car is charging from Home Assistant. This could be a CT clamp connected to the car charging circuit, an API connection to your charger, or an interface directly to your car. In my case, I'm going to rely on a Shelly EM module connected using a CT clamp on the car charging circuit. These modules are great since they communicate over Wi-Fi and can monitor two circuits simultaneously. Additionally, you'll need some way of controlling your battery. This could be through some kind of relay, or alternatively some kind of uh, external control interface, for example Modbus or an API. Let's begin. You can see here we have our Shelly integration for the Shelly EM which is in our hall cupboard. In here we have two sensors connected, one is for our mains in power and this is where our main grid connection is and the other is for our EV charger. As you can see the charger uses 1.6 watts when it's under no load, so this is its just background state and what we're looking for is an increase in power consumption to trigger any automations. If we have a look here, this is my uh, electric vehicle dashboard. We've got some access to information on the car from the OVMS connections in the leaf. Um, you can see that the battery's in generally good health and that the battery's at 69%. Um, ignore the 12 volt value, I haven't calibrated that. And again, we can see the EV charger is currently pulling 1.8 watts. Okay, we're on the automations tab. We're going to now create an automation. So we're going to start from scratch and we want to have two triggers, for one, way, one when the car starts charging and one when it stops charging. So we're going to have a numeric state trigger for um, the EV car, uh, EV charge power. And we're going to say that if that is above 500 watts for at least 30, 30 seconds, then that is enough for us to consider us in a charging state. And we're going to give this a, an ID, which is EV charging started. We'll reference this later in the automation. We're going to have another trigger for when it finishes. And again, this will be a numeric state. And again, we're using the same entity, which is EV charge power. This time we want to know what happens if it's below a value. Specifically, if it's below 50 watts for 10 seconds, we're going to assume the charging has completed. Again, we'll give it an ID. EV charging stopped. And now we're going to put together our actions. I'm going to choose the choose uh, action and what this will do is allow me to do different behaviors depending on different actions. So our condition for the first choice is that we're triggered by EV charging started. And if this happens I want to do two things. I want to um, turn off our home power management automation which is what handles the discharge of the battery. So automation dot turn off and this is going to be home power management and I also want to turn on charging of the battery which we will do by having input 
Boolean turn on, and it's going to be uh, the max power charge batteries, and this will lead to the batteries charging at max power. You could replace these with whatever controls you have for your own battery. That could be an API, Modbus, or similar. It could, in the very worst case scenario, be a notification to your phone so that you know yourself that something is happening. We're now going to have our other option, which is if we want it to stop. So the trigger is going to be EV charging stopped, and the actions are going to be call service input boolean turn off and this is again going to relate to the max charging batteries and we're also going to turn on the home power management automation using the automation turn on automation sorry using the automation turn on action Excellent. So, at this point, we should have a working automation. Let's test it. Uh, intelligent Octopus EV Charging. So we plugged the car in, and instantly we were offered some charging slots in the Ohm app for our Ohm ePod charger. As you can see, we were instantly pulling power from the grid and the battery, and the battery is currently discharging into the EV. Our automation is set so that at the 30 second mark we'll start to export that energy, um, sorry, we'll stop exporting energy from the battery and we'll instead start pulling all our power from the grid, including charging the battery, and that should start happening about now. And here we go. So we can now see the power going into the battery and into the EV. From this, I think we can conclude the automation's success. Um, I haven't included it in this video, but it did indeed stop charging at the correct time and start using the battery again when the car battery was full, so everything worked according to plan. If you found this video interesting, then please do give it a like, and feel free to subscribe for similar content. I do lots of videos on automations, Victron-related kit, and solar and energy stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye!